grocery apparel gift shop because I need underwear. So wish me luck. <laughs> no, absolutely no backstory on that whatsoever. All right guys, so I had an interesting experience when I moved back from China. I had, I got back and I was super depressed and it was going on for like six months or a year where I literally hated every single day of my life. And so I did this experiment that I read in a book by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, I think he's a psychologist, the, the guy that originated this concept of flow. And so for about a year, I tracked all of my happiest moments, all of the most exciting parts of my life, all of the best times, and I was trying to look for, honestly, any days that were actually exciting or any days that were actually good in my life. And sure enough, at the end of this year, I, as an introvert, I was very surprised because I found that all my best days, they were actually with people. All my happiest things, like over 90%, the number one trend was with people. And that surprised me. And it made me think about a lot that, it made me think that what we think makes the great life and what really makes the great life is not always the same thing. And to really evaluate what we think we value and then how we actually spend our time. So Jenny, got some undies. Yep. I feel and like- this amazing shirt. I love Pacific City. I feel like that could be the band name. It's Hi, like Mar with this shirt. <laughs> Marcy's Playground. Jenny's got some undies. It's the new 2018 smash hit. <laughs> and now we're gonna go explore yeah, yeah. the sand dune that you can't really see yet. But check that thing out. I feel like that's where Luke Skywalker was training that new female Skywalker, like on that cliff. Ray? Possible. I'm her. <laughs> You're her? <laughs> yeah, I want to be Ray. Jenny's gonna, Jenny's gonna demonstrate using the force <laughs> at some point today. Yeah. We'll see. So my second lesson here that I was reflecting on was thinking about what you actually value. Like, what do you think is most important? Is it freedom? Is it time? Is it excitement? Is it money? Is it time spent with loved ones? Is it travel? Like, I didn't know until a few years of having my own company that I started my own business because what I truly value the most is freedom. And what I value, secondly, is variety. So by having my own business and by having my own company, what I could do is I could choose the projects I worked on every day. I could have a lot of variety because every day is different things that I need to work on. And I could have the freedom to choose what to work on and when to do them. And all of these factors taught me that what I valued the most was variety in my life and freedom. But when I looked at my schedule, when I looked at my life, it did not reflect that. I was not optimizing for variety and I was not optimizing for freedom. And so it's worth thinking about what you think you value and what you actually value and then what is actually on your calendar. Does your life ref actually reflect your values? What's on the other side? Yes, sir. Narnia? Better. So we are about to embark on a very steep journey. <laughs> And kids and adults both suffer from how steep it is. So I think I'm going to have to carry Alex probably halfway through. That's fine. Yeah. But really, Narnia is not on the other side. I heard it's a UFO landing zone. <laughs> and that's actually where Jenny comes from. And dolphins are <laughs> and do Dolphins so. and alien dolphins. So. How do you feel? I feel like a, I don't know. How do your legs feel? Look at how ashy they look. <laughs> That's just how they feel. We're almost there. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I believe in you, buddy. Oh, he's so down, but he's not stopping. Wow. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Dude, that is funny. That is so... We got a whale! 
I didn't even have to really ask. Well, you got your whale. 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 I got my whale. Whale. She got her whale. <laughs> that was so cool. Wait. Oh, there he is. Oh, there it is again. Cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, oh. oh, we got a fin. We got some whale legs. <laughs> look at them legs. Whale, look at them whale legs. <laughs> So something I want to leave you with here is thinking about tracking your days to understand what is the most exciting part of your day. And maybe you realize it's with people and yet you spend 12 hours a day alone at work or you're playing video games or watching TV and you're like, I don't, I don't know why I don't feel great or I'm not so happy or I'm depressed or anxious. Then you can understand, well, I actually value being around people and family and that makes sense why I don't feel great because I'm not spending my time doing that. Or maybe you realize that like me, you love variety and you really need to always have a passion project or work project outside of your day job. Or you need to start your own business, your own company because that's more aligned with just that ambition, the hunger to, to work on a fun project every day. And I think it is really enlightening when you realize that, you know, we say we value something, but just like the person who says they want to be financially free and not hate their job, and yet every day they don't take any of the actions required to do that, it's a really good reality check as to whether or not that's gonna be happening. And so I think one thing I've realized, certainly in the last year or so, is that for me, one of the keys to the most fulfilling life is really seeing if my day-to-day -day schedule actually is aligned with my values. And you can do that just by tracking. Just track every day what you do and see if it is the kind of life you wanna be living.